Hi there, in this video I'm going to do a little bit of work on this painting that's here in front of me. It's one that I did for the current project on my online membership group. If you want to find out more about that, you can join for free for the first month and have access to over a year and a half's worth of projects, videos, tutorials, Q&As, and also get access to the online community group as well. So as I said, that's free for the first month. So if you're interested in that, do check out the link that's here on the screen. What I'm gonna do with this today is just have a little play around with it. As you know, I like to do all the kind of painting and mark making first, and then get in there, do some cropping and collaging to find interesting and exciting compositions. So let's give it a go and hope you enjoy it. So I just grabbed my sketchbook here. This is one I did in a previous video. And if you haven't seen the one I did for this, I'll pop the link up here for you to have a look at that one. So that's uh, one I did outside. I was uh, sketching out the back of my car and just had a painting that was similar to this one here. Ended up with that, brought it back, cropped and collaged it. So I'll pop the link up for you if you want to watch that one. I've just got a nice clean page there. So I'll just have a look, see if I can find an interesting part to start with, and then crack on with the cropping and collage.
Okay, that was a lot of fun. I had that large painting and I just wanted to use all those marks and lines and shapes and get a little bit more structure into it, get a little bit more like the idea that was behind it. I was actually outside, I was looking at, uh, I was on the uh, near a river bank and there were trees and shadows and all kinds of stuff like that going on. And I wanted to get that sort of slightly shadowy but bright feel to it. As I was looking for the pieces of collage, I was looking for something that sparked my interest. And I realized that these dark shadowy tree shapes that were there were starting to form a kind of frame within a frame. So I've got the outer edge of the painting and then there's this sort of inner frame created by these dark shapes, which gives a sense of moving backwards through the space. There's a kind of a suggested space that's there. So there's no perspective or anything like that in it, obviously, but there's a sort of suggestion of space because I have this frame within a frame. So I thought that was working quite well. So as soon as I saw that, I decided that's what this painting was going to be about. I always think it's nice to find a single simple idea to base these images on. So that's what I'm doing really. I'm looking for something that will just give a simple idea that I can go with just for this image and not worry about the next ones or the ones after that. Or It doesn't have to say everything. It just has to say one specific thing. And I think that frame within a frame does that job quite nicely. As I was saying earlier, I did the original painting for this as part of my online membership group, and that's free for the first month at the moment. So there's absolutely loads on there. There's uh, tutorials, projects, uh, all kinds of videos. There's the community group, and you can join that. It costs you absolutely nothing. There's no lock-in period. So if you don't enjoy it, you're not tied in. So if you're interested in that and you want to see where this started off, do check out the link that's here on the screen. Okay, I'll see you soon.